After watching thousands of agents that are successful in real estate, I've seen that there are certain skills that these agents possess. What I wanna to do today is I wanna share with you seven skills that are hard to learn on the front end, but they'll make a lifetime worth of difference. One of my favorite parts of this being in this business and actually being in the position that I'm in is I get to talk with a lot of top producing agents. Over the years, over my 27 years now in this business, I've had the opportunity really to spend a lot of time with a lot of different people that are different maybe in their gender, they're different in their race, they're different in the way that they come at this business. But what I found is, is that every single one of them have certain skills that they've developed. They weren't necessarily born with these things, but they actually develop certain skills that help them grow their business in an exponential rate. So what I want to do today is I want to break these down, seven of these skills that I see in these top producing agents that I know if you can develop in your business, they may be a little hard on the front end, but they're going to make a lifetime worth of difference. The first one is this, build rapport quickly. We're in the business where people know, like, and trust. They typically want to know you. They get to a place where they begin to like you and they get to a place where then they trust you ultimately. If you have the ability to speed up that process, it really makes a huge difference. There's a great book called How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds by Nicholas Boothman. I had the opportunity to actually meet Nicholas Boothman and his wife, Wendy, when we were speaking at a conference together and I got to have dinner with him and really go into what was it that he sees that makes it so critically important on the front end when you first come in and you meet these folks. I wanna share with you a couple of these traits and these skills that you can develop. It's where you can build that rapport very quickly. The first thing is this, smile. People just like being around people that are excited. Um, if you're at a place where you're just wondering how to make the biggest difference, just smile at people. Be enjoyable to be around. Also, ask questions about themselves. Don't just tell them something. Listen. Respond to the things that they mention. And also, there's a reason why you got two ears and one mouth. Make sure you're asking more questions and you're listening more than you're actually talking. Well, also, one of the things that you can do is the follow-up. What is it that you can do that you can have a connector that you can come back to at a later time. You see, when you begin to connect with people and you build rapport quickly, all of a sudden you get more opportunities to grow your business. The second skill is time management. How do you manage your schedule? Is one of these old sayings that says, if you don't manage your schedule, your schedule's gonna manage you. It's gonna run you in the ground. So what is it that you do on a daily basis to set your schedule up in a way that helps you succeed? Do you time block in the morning where you're making phone calls, outbound phone calls to past clients, prospects, where you're actually out working to generate opportunities in your business? You see, when you manage your time and you get to a place where now you have certain time periods that you do certain tasks, all of a sudden now you're at a place where you catch a rhythm. You get to a place where maybe now when you come into the office each morning, there's not a question of what do I do next? You've already got your day laid out and you've got it in a way where you're managing your schedule that leads to that success. Number three is shoot video. Listen, this is a newer one. This is not something that's been around forever, but what's happened recently is, is that your ability to be able to communicate through video is something that we didn't have necessarily available in the past. It gives us the ability to speed up the process of your success because what it does is it acts as a natural filter. If you're at a place and you're wondering, what's the biggest skill that I need to develop to grow my business? I have to tell you, even if you don't like it, I hate to say it, you got to get to a place where you get comfortable shooting more video. Video is not not going away, it's only going to increase in its value in your business. I've always said, we used to say that we were a real estate company, that we were, we were a marketing company that happened to sell real estate. I will say this, in the next four to five years, and really right now, we need to become a media company that happens to sell real estate. You have to get to a place if you're gonna grow your business at the end, make the impact that you know you wanna make in your business, you're gonna to have to come to a place where you get more comfortable on video. It's not gonna be easy at the beginning, just like I talked about before. These are skills that may be a little hard on the front end, but after you've done the reps, it gets more and more comfortable and it will make a impact forever in your business. The fourth skill is social media marketing. Again, this is something that has not been around forever, but it's vitally important if we're gonna have the business that we know we can have going forward. What is it you can do to learn these things? Here's the great thing about learning a new skill now that we didn't have in the past is YouTube is available. If you wanna know how to be more impactful on Instagram, simply go to YouTube and say, how to grow my business through Instagram, how to grow my real estate business through Instagram, how to grow my real estate business through LinkedIn, how to grow my real estate business through Facebook, you see, we're at a place where more and more people are online. It is captivating people's attention. And our job is to be more and in front of those people wherever it is they are. They're spending their time on social media, so we should as well. 
The fifth skill is how to show gratitude. We have to get better at showing our gratitude. Um, I come from a place where I've always said that the more I can thank people, the more I'm gonna focus on that gratitude, the more opportunities I'm gonna see to be have more things to be thankful for. So what is it that you do skillfully? Because skillfully is different than just maybe saying thank you to someone. What is it you do and the skill that you developed? Is it writing handwritten thank you notes each and every morning? Is it sending video texts thanking someone each and every morning? Is it gifting people that have sent you referrals something that's special and that's personal? You see, when we get to a place where we're able to show gratitude, we're gonna find more things and more opportunities for people to give to us in a way that deserves that gratitude. Focus on developing your skill of gratitude. Not only will it make your business grow, but it's gonna make your life better as well. The sixth skill is self-awareness. This is probably one of the biggest things out there. I see this all the time. I'll meet with agents and they'll come from a place where they're saying, gosh, I just, I really know that I should do this, but I'm not sure how to do it. Well, what is it that you do well? One of the things that I love to do is I love to sit down with agents and take and look back. What is it over the last 12 months, 24 months, where did all of your transactions come from? It's pretty telling. Take the time to go back and say, okay, well look, 90% of mine came from referrals and from my sphere of influence, or 60% came from my farm area on the listings that I took, or maybe it's that, hey, all of my leads were coming in online, whatever it is, be self-aware enough to understand what it is that you do well, lean in more into those things. Also, be self-aware enough to understand, we talked about video, we talked about social media marketing, that if your business is going to grow, what got you here is probably going to need to be enhanced to get you to there. So not only do you need to enhance the skills you have, there's certain skills that you need to grow in. So whatever it is that you're good at, lean harder into those. Whatever it is that you need some work on, Spend some time growing in those areas. When you do those things, your business is gonna grow like wildfire. The seventh skill is delegation. This is something I really struggled with early in my business because I knew exactly how I wanted things to go. I struggled with passing over the file to a transaction coordinator because I was worried that something was gonna get missed. I had strug I struggled also with passing over, getting my listings put into MLS in the early part of my career because I was worried that it wasn't gonna be perfect when it went in there exactly the way I wanted. What I began to understand was, is let me tell you what I was really good at, sitting in front of people and generating listings and generating business by showing property. All the other things really began to fade because understanding that it doesn't have to be perfect for it to go forward and to move forward. What we have to realize is, is that there are certain activities that you're hurting yourself if you continue to do those activities. My friend Vince Lisi says it this way. He says that for every $100,000 you make a year, it's basically $50 an hour. So if you're making $200,000 a year, you're at a place where you're a $100 an hour person. Every hour you spend, it's $100 an hour worth of activity. If you're spending that time doing $15, $10, $20 activities, you're hurting yourself and you're hurting the clients that need you to step up and be the professional that you are. They need your service. Make sure that you're at a place where you learn to delegate responsibilities and that's what gives you the ability to scale your business in a way like never before. Five years from now, the difference in your business is really gonna be a direct result of the skills you develop. What is it that you need to lean into? What is it that you need to become self-aware of? What is it that you need to do today and develop today that's gonna to make the big difference two, three, five years from now. You see, we focus on the skills, we focus on the things that we can control, all of a sudden the things that we can't control begin to take care of themselves. Your business begins to grow. If you'll focus on these seven skills, I've got no doubt in my mind that your business will look completely different this time next year and especially five years from now. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.